what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we'll be looking at a new set of presets i'm about to put out right so i've been putting up a lot of pictures on my instagram feed if you're not following me i'll leave a link down in the description you'd have to go check me out right i have been putting up a lot of images and i have gotten a lot of positive feedback concerning the tones i have been applying to the said images whether light skin dark skin medium skin any other skin color and also outdoor and studio wise so today's video i'll be explaining the presets i'll be putting out which is the tjds preset the tjds is from one of my profiles that i have been selling the color profiles so if you already have my color profiles you have a discount code to buy this particular preset but if you don't have that particular color profile you would have to buy this at a full price and this comes with the standard profile itself together with um, other presets that are created alongside a standard profile so you will be seeing one for studio one for outdoor some for light skin some for dark con uh, dark skin models also some for um, cloudy conditions some for um, sunny conditions and sunset conditions so yeah this is the readme people don't like to read so kindly read tjds presets readme open it read it then see what this preset is all about also the sites i'll be putting it up on shikakope.com i'll leave a link down in the description you can go check it out kindly read each detail there because i've had a lot of complaints where people just buy and they can't download and they come back and they'll be giving the website managers a whole lot of trouble so please read before you buy this preset is for just pc and i repeat just pc not Lightroom Mobile, just Lightroom PC. Right, so TJDS presets, the user guide. Hey there, thank you for purchasing TJDS presets back for Adobe Lightroom Desktop. I created these presets to help reduce the stress of color grading images in Lightroom and also serve as a resource or base for your innovative coloring skills. These presets are created for both light and dark skin models. You can see one being applied over here so a light skin model a medium skin model same medium skin light skin the dark skin i think will be seen in a video you can see the dark skin over here so these presets were created with skin tones in mind it's all about enhancing the richer deeper skin tones and making them look deep bronzed and glowy Disclaimer, do keep in mind that all images are shot using different lighting and setups, so the presets will most likely have to be tweaked around to get a perfect look that will fit to your image. Make sure to check out my video, which is this video, where I walk you through using the presets for a better, more custom experience. How do I install these presets? You'll be seeing that today. So, after downloading from the website, purchasing this, like I said, if you already have my previous profiles, which is the ones uh, TJD color profiles, you have a discount code to get all these presets. But if you don't have that particular profile, you'd have to purchase it at the full price. So this is the profile I'm talking about, the TJD standard, which comes, which is a very great profile, by the way. And these are the presets. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a six pack preset together with one profile. Right, all you have to do is just import them into Lightroom and the new Lightroom is such that if you go to develop and you come here, import presets, you would have to go look for TJD presets, then you just select and import. What you will find here is TJD S presets, one, two, three, four, five, six six presets then the profile will be found here user profile right but what i have done is such that whenever you tap on the presets the profile automatically loads up that is if you have the profile so i'm going to blur this side of the screen just so that you know um people don't get to copy those who already have the profiles don't get to copy the presets i'm creating okay so looking at these sample images i'll be using i have quite a variety of them i have some in green some very sunny some with dark skin with blue skies cloudy conditions um some for my photo work some from yeah 
some from last year, some from last two years, a couple of um, studio pictures also, and some backlit images. Let's get into coloring them. So we're going to develop. You should take notes. They are resources and they are not a fix, but it will take you a step closer to the kind of tones I use. I have been using them and you people love them and I just want to give it to you guys, but at a price. So let's start with this particular image with a lot of greens. I think I have a video on this on my YouTube channel. You can check it out. Right. Looking at this, I don't want to start with cloud grade. Neither do I want to use any of the two studio grades, but I would want to play along with the sun grade one and the sun grade two, and maybe also the sunset grade one. So let's take a look at the sun grade one and see how it changes the image already. When I tap on it and you take a look over here, you see the profile automatically loads. If you don't have the profile, then providing you with the profile with this particular pack of presets, you get to have this view. So this is the before and the after. This is the sun grade two. This is sunset grade one. All giving you a different vibe to the coloring and also sending you closer to my tones. Let's go to this. Let's look at sun grade one, sun grade two, sunset grade one. I think I like what sun grade one is doing. The next thing I will do, like I said, it's a base, a resource, not a remedy. I'll just reduce the luminance of my oranges, then I'm good to go. Then I have this reddish toned looking image with bronzed skin. Right, let's go to this particular image. So coming to this said image, let's flip through the available sun grade we have. This is sun grade 1, sun grade 2, sunset grade 1. I vibe with this, the sunset grade 1. I can also choose to use the cloud grade 1 for this. If I'm looking at a more darker skin, it works very well for this. Let me just orient it well. This is the before and this is the after. You can also use the sunset grade one for this, if that is the look you're going in for. It still sends you closer to the tones that I have. With this, I can also take a step further and reduce the luminance. Then I have this good looking image over here, as you can see. Right. So let's go to a cloudy image. A cloudy image, I shot this very, it was very cloudy. I remember shooting this very, very cloudy. I have an, I have, I have a video on this. You can go watch it. Let's see what the sun grids do on the cloudy image. Well, it sends you a step closer, but it's not as effective as when you use the cloud grid on it. And just take a look at the difference between the before and the after. Next image, same cloudy conditions. Let's see. We have this. Let's see what the sun grade one does. Grade one, grade two. I think I'll stick with this. Then all I have to do is just reduce my exposure. Maybe change the hue of the red. Reduce the luminance. Then I'm good to go. So this is the before and the after. Just with a click this is from the photo walk let's see cloud grade one no working look at sun grade one sun grade two sunset grade one i think i vibe with either the two or the one let's take with one let's go to this an overexposed image i'll go with sun grade one reduce the exposure a little bit let me orient it for a wall. Then you're good to go. You don't have to do a lot, but then you have to do something to it just to make it yours. If you want to make changes to it. Now to the set of greeneries. Let's see. Sun grade one. Beautiful. Should I darken them all? Good to go. Let's go to the second one. Sun grade one. 
and just take a look at how rich the skin looks okay i hope you guys remember this set image from the very first time i shot her and somewhere let's do a sun grade one sun grade two sunset grade one i think i'll stick with sun grade one very beautiful on to the next image sun grade one these have adjustments made over here and if you want to make further adjustments maybe the color is too much or it's too little you can come and reduce the saturation maybe reduce the vibrance go specifically into the color you want to reduce maybe reduce the saturation of the oranges open it up a little bit depending on what you want to do basically all it's doing is sending you closer to the tones you have been seeing on my instagram feed now let's go to the studio shot i don't think i provided a behind the scenes for this but i think i've edited a particular picture from this set so straight to studio grade one and just take a look at how it changes this to that enriching the skin tones like i said the whole idea is to deeply enrich the skin tones let's see the grade two the grade two doesn't work for this light skin model so i think we'll stick with grade one if i want to make any further changes i can make further changes to this right now let's go to this set image of course we're going to use sun grade on this one so let's see sun grade one beautiful sun grade two i think grade one should be okay for me i go to this set image let's see grade one grade two I'll fall in love with grade 2 over this. Now looking at this studio image, let's see studio grade 1. If this is the vibe you're going in for, you can choose this. But the studio grade 2, I purposely um, created for dark skin in the studio. Right. In the studio also with the idea of using white walls and all that. I mean white backgrounds but if you have any other color available you just have to reset the saturation sliders i have reduced in there just so that you maintain the colors you have in the set photo if you have different colored backdrops looking at this let's see what studio grade one does just look at how the skin tones have changed and reached into reds from this to that i love this now for my wedding people this is a wedding i shot for a friend right let's see what the sun grade does let's sun grade one and this is sun grade two and sun says grade one do you see the difference so i think i might stick with sun grade two let's see how it has enriched the skin from this yellowish greenish vibe to a reddish more toned down maybe sun grade one will do the trick let's open up the exposure a little bit and i'm good to go you guys remember this shot sun grade two and then let's see let's open up exposure a little bit you're good to go this is a backlit shot image all right so i'm going to use sun grade one for this or maybe two well, i think i'll stick with one it just adds a vibe of color to this and maybe i'll just reduce the blacks and open the exposure a little bit and i'm good to go if you have if you shoot if you shoot an image in a greener environment with this kind of vibe just look at how these sun grades send your image a step closer then you can move into photoshop and go and work on your skin or something like that another cloudy condition picture so let's go to cloud grade one and straight ahead we have this i feel like i have blown out the white over here so i'm just going to go into the luminance then reduce that and there we have this now let's go to this sunset image i shot 
straight ahead i'm going to use the sunset grid on this and i'm going to open up the exposure a little bit and i'm good to go the sun grids will also work on them on it right these two sun grids will work very well but i feel like there's a reason why i created the sunset one for this one but these can also be a look you're going in for let's see what the other profiles does studio grade 2 doing this to the image studio grade 1 doing that to the image and cloud grade 1 also doing that to the image you can just toggle through the one you want then you'll be good to go so let's see cloud grade 1 studio grade 1 studio grade 2 sun grade 1 sun sun grade 2 and sunset i vibe with the sun grade 2 a lot so i'm going to stick with this so so far we have been able to color grade our images we've been able to color grade our images make them look differently from what was shot let me just do this so this is the before and after this is for sun grade 2 we can see what cloud grade 1 gives us if that's a look you're going in for you can use this you can use it on dark skin the cloud grade also works a little bit on dark skin models too so you can just toggle play around it then see which one works best for you but as the name suggests over there whenever you shoot an image in the sun early morning in the sun or early afternoon in the sun you can use either of the sun grades then the sunset you can use the sunset grid and if you shoot in the studio you have two studio grades available and for whatever reason you shoot under an overcast condition or a cloudy condition you have a cloud grade over there and that should be it for today's video Thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe these presets will be out for sale as quickly as possible i'm going to leave a link down in the description just go visit my web store on the chicago Pay website if you already have the profiles you're going to get a discount code just let me know you're interested and i'll provide you with the discount code if you don't have the profiles you'd have to purchase this at a full price so i have made sure this set profile i have created presets for this set tjd standard profile and it works all around for events for your own personal portrait shots for weddings i am yet to try it on an evening event right and if you purchase it and you use it on evening events and it works then that's good for you all right thank you for watching don't forget to support the business by purchasing i'm going to leave a link down in the description thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for supporting the brand thank you so much for everything you guys have been doing for me and i'll see you in my next video peace